Rick Sparber here. Uh, I've been struggling with the best way to align my vise to the uh, to the ways of my mill for a long time, and I've come up with a number of solutions, none of which were very satisfactory. Uh, the best so far was to machine a soft jaw into the fixed jaw, but that has some limitations too. So I was playing around with this idea, and I'd like to show it to you. First of all, a fundamental problem with clamping a vise, as you see the hold down nuts here, when they pr press down, the surface has to be dead flat. So I've machined those flat, because if you don't do that, that when you tighten this down, it'll shift the vise. So that's step number one, and I've actually made some special washers there to make it a little better. Um, secondly, what I'm doing is using hold down clamps when I do my final tightening to guarantee that the vise doesn't move. After it's in the right position, I tighten those down. They definitely don't cause any side motion. Then I can tighten these nuts and uh, the vise shouldn't shift. So what I have here is two V blocks and two dowel rods, same diameter, that are clamped up against the fixed jaw. On this side, I've built a nest such that the horizontal, the x-axis stop is clamped down and then I've got this block here that uh, prevents this pin from sliding along the x-axis. So I'm confined, as long as I can keep this pin into this nest here, I'm good. So then what I do is I run my indicator over this first rod and then the second rod. I'll do that now. So you see, I'm indicating on that first rod, which is also my pivot point, and that greatly simplifies the motion. Now I'm going to, you can see the needle, you probably can't see the numbers, but uh, as I traverse this, you can see that the, the needle is pivoting counterclockwise, and then it com comes back. That's that maximum there, right about there, which is zero, has to be the, the center line of that rod. So all I do is just slowly traverse that and read that peak value. So I set that to zero. Then I'm gonna swing over here to my second rod. Do the same thing. Now, you could, if you were, if you're able to see, pretty much, it it peaks at about a little less than half a thou. So if I wanted to, and for a reason I'll explain in a minute, I'm not going to. I can loosen these two bolts and very gently pivot this vise to whatever reading I want after I found that, that, that maximum point, which gets me right on the radius. So it's uh, theoretically a one iteration alignment. Now the reason that I can't, I don't want to get better than a half a thou because I'm chasing my tail because the the gib on the table for the x-axis cannot be so tight that the table can't pivot or it'll bind up because the ways are not perfect. So I've got it, got the ways as tight as I can, the gib as tight as I can so that it doesn't bind up when I move the x-axis. But what that does is it causes the, the table to actually pivot. I can show you that. So here, here you can see
Now, let's see. As I push and pull on that table, I can move it about a half a thou. So there's no point in being better than that because it's gonna get washed out by the give play. But we can go back. Let's see what pushing that does. Okay, so it's reading about a half a thou high now. And it's reading about half a, half a thou high. So at this point, the vice is aligned as, as good as it can be to the x-axis. And I've tightened down these hold down clamps. So now when I tighten down those nuts, and I'm gonna do it right here. As I tighten down those nuts, that dial test indicator should not move. If it, I guess if it does move, it's really more that the table is shifting. I'd be real careful not to bump the in oh, bump the indicator. All right, so I've tightened this down, not crazy tight yet, but you can see the vice is not shifting because the hold down clamps are are in control. Now, when I release the hold down clamps, the vice shouldn't move. So. I'm interested in hearing comments on this. It does appear to work. Um, I'm not saying I invented it, but I, at least I'm not the first to invent it, put it that way. I'm sure it's a very old trick, but it's not one that I've seen before. So that's all I got for now. Bye.